doomed to succeed. That's how one former U.S. State Department policy planner described the probable outcome of Wednesday's Benjamin Netanyahu-Donald Trump meeting in Washington, saying both leaders have big stakes in showing they're on the same page. President Trump and I see eye to eye on the dangers emanating from the region, but also on the opportunities. And we'll talk about both, as well as upgrading the relations between Israel and the United States in many, many fields. According to Israel's political insiders, issues on the agenda include U.S.-Iran relations and possible renegotiation of the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, regional threats like Iranian-backed Hezbollah, and alliance strengthening with Sunni Arab states like Egypt and Jordan. Looming unknowns include the Trump administration's response to Israel's continued settlement expansion and the Washington versus Jerusalem vision for achieving a Palestinian-Israeli peace deal. Mr. Netanyahu's coalition partners are pressuring him to stay away from two-state solution talk while selling the U.S. president on the idea of unhindered construction in up to 10 percent of Palestinian land. Palestinian leaders say there's nothing left to concede, adding that if the Palestinian Authority is pushed into a corner, there will be backlash. Such as subscribing to international conventions and taking Israel to the International Criminal Court on accountability issues. If we give up on the two-state solution, then it means that we've, we've given up on any possibility of a peaceful settlement then it means that we've given up on international law and UN resolutions, Security Council resolutions. Then it means that the law that prevails is the law of the jungle. And the law of the jungle in the Middle East ultimately translates into extremism and spiraling violence. <laughs> Stephanie Freed, CGTN, Ramallah.